What's up Aztec fans? I thought I'd do a quick video to show how Jeremy Hemsley has improved over the year. Let's check it out. Jeremy's biggest problem early in the year was that he would drive to the basket out of control. I've put together a number of clips that show Jeremy looking like he's falling forward or off balance as he's driving to the hoop. This is probably the best example as Jeremy looks like he's falling side to side the entire time after coming off the pick. I like it when players are aggressive, but Jeremy had a couple of charge calls due to his lack of control during this game. He commits a charge on this possession too, and watch how his eyes are down the entire time while he's driving to the hoop. It's hard to make the right play if you aren't reading the defense. He finishes this drive, but still looks like he's falling the entire time. It's a bad look. When Jeremy wasn't rushing things, he was able to find the open man. Like here, how he hits Watson in the corner for the open three. On this possession, Jeremy finds McDaniel slipping behind the defense for an easy dunk. However, these plays didn't happen enough early on in the season cut to the Utah State game not that long ago and Jeremy's drives look much smoother and he keeps his eyes up the entire time. Jeremy takes some contact down low during his drive on this possession, but even so, he looks really balanced and in control, and he's able to find Mitchell wide open in the corner. This is one of Hemsley's better finishes of the entire season. Notice as he drives how he doesn't look like he's falling over, but instead he initiates contact and hits the reverse layup. This last clip shows Jeremy firing on all cylinders. You can tell his confidence is up by the way he steps calmly into his three. Then he gets back on defense, initiates the steal, and leads the Aztecs back in transition the other way. If Jeremy can continue to play like this consistently, the Aztecs will be a hard team to beat. The easiest way to see Jeremy's improvement and growing confidence is by looking at his shooting numbers. In his first eight games of the season, he shot 36% from inside the arc and just under 12% from outside the arc. Over the last five games, both of those numbers have improved to 50%. While I don't think these numbers will hold, I think a good 38-40% to 40 from deep is very doable for Jeremy, and if he does so, the Aztecs will be in great shape. That does it for this one, Aztec fans. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you next time.